Hi, everybody. I'm Susie Gillum. I am very pleased to be here today. I hope I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks that might help you enjoy your hobby of flower designing. And if you aren't currently a flower designer, then I really hope you get encouraged that some things are just not as hard as they look. So what my goal is today is to use a couple of new products for me and to introduce you to a couple of new things too. This is being brought to you by OFAD, um, Organization of Floral Art Designers, which is a, just the best group I've ever joined in my life. I've been doing flower design for 30 years, and this is the epitome of learning. And I'm really big on learning new tips and tricks. And I really, really want you to be able to come to OFAD and find out the same thing. You'll leave with an idea that you can do things, and it isn't as intimidating as you might think. Some of the stuff I, I'm going to do today might feel like it's intimidating. I want you to get past that and I want you to try out some new things. This is a fabulous container. It was made by Bruno Kark, who is over in the East Bay in California. His work is very inspirational. He takes a little bit of an Asian feel. This container is very heavy. It's ceramic, and it's glazed with a beautiful matte black glaze. It almost looks like ironstone, but this is ceramic. The um, flower holder for the day is a heavy, heavy, heavy Kenzan, and um, that is holding my foam inside. I know a lot of people don't like to use foam. I do, mainly because I like to keep my designs fresh and some of my containers don't hold water real well. So the um, foam helps me a lot. This is the wet foam. Some people call it Oasis, but it's available under all kinds of different brand names. So I've already soaked my foam and I've covered a little bit of it with reindeer moss. And for that, I just use the little U-shaped pins that you can buy at any floral supply store. And that just kind of secures it and covers up that foam so it isn't quite in your face. Today I'm going to use a really new product for me. And you'll see it's a wicked, wicked plant. Um, this is called Pond Citrus Trifolata. And it is a, a citrus that um, is commonly used for rootstock for citrus trees that are being grafted. I was introduced to this with green material that was fresh by Fusako Hoyrup in 2019 at the OVAD seminar. I was enamored immediately. Well, my neighbor found out that he had a citrus tree that had this as the grafted root, and he started to cut it up, and I said, could I have that, please? <laughs> so he was gracious enough to give me a lot of it, and um, I treasure it. It's very, when it dries, it's very fragile. And as you can tell, it is wickedly dangerous. These are just like needle points. I took fingernail clippers and clipped off just the very tip of each one, so now it isn't quite as dangerous to use. And that was really a good help for me. But it is rather fragile. So when you're using it, you do need to be a little careful because the little branches will break off. I'm just going to seat this as deeply as I can in my floral foam. And I'm going to try to do a really nice asymmetrical design for you today. I love asymmetry. I love the balance and the flow and the line you get with that. So um, this is going to be a really, relatively simple design. Um, these are Fatsia japonica. And I think a lot of you might have seen this before. It's uh, commonly known as Aurelia. And I have taken the leaf, and you can cut these any way you want, and then they even dry beautifully. When you're all through, you can dry them, and then you can go on and use them, spray paint them, and use them in other designs. So I've cut some ahead of time just because of the time constraints. Don't want you to be sitting here watching this all day. <laughs> So, I'm going to put some of these in. I'm going to look for one that has a pretty good line. Cut it on an angle because it'll go into the oasis a little bit more easily. I'm going to just kind of tuck it in there. And I'm using these for two reasons. This branch tends to be very, very, very textural. It's busy, busy, busy. And in my mind, I want to get rid of some of that texture. Um, so, I'm using these leaves because they're probably going to be really the smooth thing that is in this design. And I think 
contrast is one of the more important parts of designing. You need contrast to get the interest that you really need to have. And this is something that I'm using a flower that I very rarely would use in a competition because this is a daylily. Daylilies are named that because they only live for a day. <laughs> when about a day is gone, they tend to just kind of waste away. Many times there's another bloom on the stem, which is perfect, but you run the risk of that lily going clear down and then you no longer have a flower design. So my goal in placing these is to find the line that was created by this beautiful piece of branch here and keep following that. And that way I'll have a balanced design. I think balance is one of the, one of the most important principles of design and elements of design because if it isn't balanced, you as the viewer will look at it and have the feeling that you're uncomfortable. Something's not quite right. You might not be able to figure out what it is, but something is off. So what I'm doing is placing these to cry, create a little bit more weight where the design actually goes into the container. And that way, it will balance this extreme amount of branch over here. I'm going to turn it around for you for a second to see what I've been talking about. And this might mess up the photography a little bit, but you can get an idea. This one is higher, so it carries your eye up and into the branch, creating a line of rhythm. These are placed in a position that gives it a little bit more weight at the bottom. This is so textural and so big, it's going to give you visual balance that offsets all of this material over on the other side. So, how do we finish this off? I think it could stand a couple more leaves, so let's get a couple more of these leaves that I've clipped. This Aurelia is such a cool, cool, smooth component in the design, and I love to use it. Um, and as I said, I leave it on my bench when I'm through, and it just dries, and then all of a sudden I have more material to use in a dry design. And I can paint it, which is always nice because you always want to change colors. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty basic and pretty much done. But there's one thing missing. What would you think it would be? For me, it's contrast in color. I have contrast in texture pretty well, but I want some contrast in color. I often find more pleasure for me when I'm designing to use something that is in a, a stark contrast of color. And I'm going to use an unexpected thing. <laughs> These are just purple balls that are on little wire stems and I've wired them into a cluster. And I love purple and orange. I also adore purple shades with lime greens. It is such a striking contrast that it just is exquisite, I think. And I, I use it a lot only because of the color contrast. So I'm just going to place these in, in a position that I think will be really pleasing to the eye. And that's pretty much it. If I were in a competition, I'd work a little harder on polishing up the back. But since we're doing a demonstration today, I'll call it good. So here is my finished design. And as you can see, I've tried to keep that line going through it, which gives you the rhythm in a design, also creates that visual balance that you need to have to make everything feel comfortable. And that's what I want you to see today, is that feeling of being comfortable. And as you saw today, this isn't all that hard. Just think about what you'd like to do. Go out in your yard, pick a few flowers, come in, Find a tuna fish can if you have to, spray it black and make a design. And if you want to learn more, come see us at the OFAD seminar and have a good time. Who knows who will be there this year? Go look on the website and you'll see that it's well worth your time to come this year. Thank you.